while the focus is really on the satellite itself, the rocket, which you can see behind me, and I got to tell you, not a lot of people get this close to a launch ready vehicle. Now, if this photo doesn't make you smile, I don't know what else will. Then we have another cold front, which is pushes through on Tuesday night. So Tuesday looks fantastic. Tuesday night though, then we begin to drop and the cold air really begins to seep in through the area. Yeah, hey, that's right, Raj. I'm Misty McBee with Culver Stockton College's public relations and marketing team here on campus says the campus is secure. However, that lockdown remains in place while authorities continue to search it. For tonight, 44 degrees under clear skies, maybe a little patchy fog, especially in those low lying areas. For tomorrow, basically another stellar day like today, 67 degrees under sunny skies, and I'll call it warm. For you, maybe an understatement. We'll take a look at our official high here in Quincy. We were in the 80s, 82 officially here in Quincy, 65 degrees with our morning low. That morning low is actually warmer than our average high. And while we weren't quite at a record like temperature, does it really even matter? Does anybody even care? Clear on the courthouse square, celebrating the big win in Macomb over Indiana State. Remember to celebrate responsibly. Temperature 51 degrees, looking at the wind on the west southwest about five miles per hour. That wind is going to kind of diminish a little bit overnight and welcome back everybody. Our sleep tight sky cam here in Quincy shows a little bit of that cloud cover beginning to move in dry for now, but we're just hours from now. We're expecting that precipitation to move on in Now temperatures today across the tri-states fairly average basically for this time of year. Take a look at our numbers here in Quincy 42 our official high right where we should be for this time of year and this morning got down to 29. Now really enough about today. The big story is what's coming ahead in the next few hours. Current conditions right now across the tri-states. We're still looking at temperatures into the mid 30s to even 40s in some places. Looking at Macomb at 35, Mount Sterling at 36, up to 41 still in Hannibal. So these temperatures have a while to drop still before we start seeing the changeover to snow as the precipitation moves on through. How low can those temperatures drop? Well, I'm closely watching also our dew points because really our temperatures can only drop as low as our dew point value. So Macomb already down to 31. That's good. That means that temperature can continue to drop overnight. Fort Madison down to 30, Keokuk at 32 degrees. So we're closely watching those temperatures tonight as we'll have big implications on our forecast. Radar satellite composite shows mostly kind of cl uh, cloudy conditions over us right now. We're seeing a lot of returns on radar. Most of that not reaching the ground yet because it has a lot of dry air to fight through before it reaches us. But the broader perspective continues to show that big band of precipitation off to our south and to our west. That's all moving in our direction. Basically a big atmospheric river of moisture getting ready to kind of unload on the tri-states. Forecast emotion, very important. Let's put that in motion for you. We're looking at basically dry conditions till about 2 to 3 a.m. That's when we're going to start to see that shield of precipitation moving into our western viewing area. As we go into the early morning hours tomorrow, basically by 8 a.m., we're looking at mostly kind of a snow shower across our northern two-thirds. I think for the farther and uh, third of our area, basically south of Interstate 72 and US 36, I think that'll be kind of the main cutoff line. So south of that, mostly rain. North of that, we'll see that snow shower activity. That snow shower really going to kind of continue through the morning hours on Sunday till the afternoon. We'll begin clearing out for our far western counties by the early or late morning hours. And by about 3 o'clock, 3, 4 in the afternoon, we're going to looking at those conditions begin to dry out across the tri-states. Then what we'll moves in behind it, looking at a little bit more of that warmer air, a little bit of the cloud cover kind of hanging on in. But for when, or excuse me, for Monday, looking at mostly clear conditions and temperatures above average. So. We talk about all this snowfall activity. Why, why aren't we exactly seeing, uh, you know, measurable snowfall? Why aren't we talking about it? Well, the road's still 42 to 47 degrees across the tri-state. So a lot of that snow that hits the pavement will melt on contact. That's why roads really aren't a question or really aren't a problem at all tonight. The grassy surface is about 40 to 45 degrees. As that snowfall hits that, we may see some of that minor accumulation, especially off to our north in the grassy areas as that gets time to cool. So here's my official forecast for tonight and to tomorrow, but a half an inch to an inch for our far northern viewing area. So McDonough, Hancock, Lee, Scotland and Clark counties across northeastern Missouri and uh, west central Illinois. That's where I think we're going to see any accumulating snowfall. Again, nothing significant, nothing on the roads, just on the grassy surfaces. Everybody else, that rain and snow mix kind of is a heavy wet snow in most areas. Really no significant accumulation before tonight. 34 degrees will be your average temperature, a little bit colder to the north, a little bit warmer to our south. Rain and snow showers beginning by about again about 2 to 3 a.m.
that'll persist through tomorrow uh, through the afternoon hours tomorrow. We'll get to about 43 degrees though, so any accumulation that does fall will begin to melt as we go through the afternoon hours. Again, that should basically begin to taper off by about four o'clock in the afternoon. Now the extended forecast, I promised you that cold air as well. Yeah, certainly looking a little bit more like a December. We'll warm up nicely by uh, Monday, 46 degrees. Back to average on Tuesday for 40, but look at Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're going to get highs only into the 20s with low temperatures into the teens. The next chance of precipitation doesn't come until Wednesday. That system very unpredictable at this time. It's kind of, uh, all the models that we uh, look at kind of have it bouncing all over the place. So we're kind of closely watching that, but really our focus is on uh, the system tonight. Yeah, you cannot ask for better weather just days ahead of that rocket launch. And I tell you, it's going to be a fantastic weekend here as well. Again, if you're not familiar with what exactly is going on, let me bring you up to speed real quick. Storm Center invited me here to the Cape Canaveral area, Kennedy Space Center, for a brand new weather satellite launch called Gozar and how to use it and its new products to help you basically at home. And press conferences were held for locals and the national media by leading scientists and program heads to discuss just how this will change weather forecasting. One of the greatest benefits the satellite has is the decrease in time we have to wait for data. It essentially allows us to see the storms on Earth in real time. And the best way I've heard one of the forecasters says, Greg, in the past when you've delivered the GOES satellite data, you've been showing me loops of what has happened. You are now providing me a movie of what's going on right now. So in a sense, that latency is so short that this data is getting to their hands immediately. A representative from FEMA was also in attendance and discussed how the satellite's ability to forecast better and have more accurate data sooner will help emergency management activities. So accuracy turns into time and time can be important from minutes for us to, uh, to hours. Really, once you make a disaster decision, it's made. Once you decide to evacuate, you can't unevacuate. Now, tomorrow night on KHQA, you'll hear from leading scientists and engineers discussing the launch vehicle as it heads out to the pad. Video and sound you will only see in the tri states right here on KHQA. And continue to follow me on social media at Nick Stewart KHQA on Twitter for continuous behind the scenes look from all the festivities here in Cape Canaveral, Florida. Reporting live from the Kennedy Space Center, meteorologist Nick Stewart, KHQA News.